You like pink flowers? Okay, I like the, I like the copy of pink The idea project is a big service project for a group of seniors in their last year of high school to make an impact on the community that we lived in for our whole lives. So just making a lasting impact for the last time we'll be here. The Big Idea Project is intended for students to do a capstone project based on community service needs. What the students do is they go into the community, they do research and think about what are the needs of the world around us. The intention is for our students to do research and make an impact and implement what they believe is a difference in that community and then they present it out to our school. So I think as a mentor, um, it, it, it's just an opportunity to really see what the future generation has in store for us. Big Idea Project definitely contributes to the uh, Skyview mission of creating honorable leaders because it really teaches you those life skills that you have to have if you're going to be competent in the workforce um, and if you're going to really um, demonstrate the qualities that you've been taught throughout your time at Skyview and it really cultivates those skills. This is one of my favorite times of the year. I know it's stressful for the students. I know it's stressful for, for the teachers. And um, we've all been working really, really hard. But I enjoy this time of the year so much. I love to see um, some of the products that I've seen over the years are just phenomenal. And I am looking forward to, once again, judging the projects. I'm looking forward to seeing what our students did. I'm looking forward to seeing how it impacted not only our students' lives, but how it's impacted the lives of individuals outside of Skyview Academy. And so um, this is an exciting time of the year. I'm looking forward to seeing what our students have pulled off. I think if we think beyond the grade and the purpose, the purpose of the Big Idea Project is to help you in like who you are and it's more about serving others than the grade. We also bonded closer together with each other and that's honestly my favorite part of it is um, getting to have that really unique experience of being able to come together kind of as a class and with your friends to actually serve because that's a part of friendship that makes it so much deeper is serving together like yeah you can have fun you can hang out um, but serving together is a whole new level of friendship and that's kind of like what friends are for like making the world better <laughs> yeah. I hope that the project gets them thinking critically learning how to communicate and express themselves in uh, positive and effective ways um, it, it, it has them hopefully ch facing challenges and finding ways to overcome those challenges. Um, and I'm hoping that whatever they do as seniors in the Big Idea Project translates not only to um, a grade in the class, but translates to success in college for them, translates to success in uh, life in their career for them. I didn't know I was gonna be like nominated to be team leader, and I didn't know if that was like a job that I could really handle, but I feel like I've learned to like step up and um, just take charge of like a lot of things and make calls and do a lot of work that I wasn't comfortable doing before. Uh, teamwork is hard and communication is even harder apparently. <laughs> Teammates, uh, she's really taken charge and really put herself out there, um, which is like something she was extremely afraid of like only a couple years ago. So she's come a long way. Also, I've just grown an appreciation for teachers because we, we were developing a curriculum in one week and people do it for a whole month. So it just it shows how much work you have to put into, you know, what may seem like a small thing. It, it takes a lot of work and planning. <laughs> um, I've learned how to work with people, um, especially teammates, and how to deal with life and the obstacles that they give you. Um, you don't really realize how many steps there are to these types of projects until you have to do one and how many obstacles you have to kind of overcome and just how to work with your teammates and how you guys can come together and create something that you're proud of. I think Big Idea Project gives us a mentor so that we have a leader just besides the teenagers working together in a group. We have an adult who can help us figure out things that maybe we don't know because we haven't experienced it yet. It's also given me like a deeper sense of empathy for not only like people planning events, but like every event I feel like has like an aspect that you could get from that where you could like, either you're empathizing like with mm -hmm. your friend, you're like, yeah, I'll go help you. 
with your event or like whether you're working with like foster kids or homeless people or mm -hmm. whatever? I've learned to be patient with others and know that it takes people different amounts of time to work together and yeah. through different stages. It's hard, it's yeah. challenging, but it is very rewarding in the end. You gain a lot of skills that maybe other schools don't provide for you if they do not have the Bayetia project. I think we've definitely learned a lot from our experience with it. Uh, definitely wouldn't choose every single step of the way that was a disadvantage or difficult, but I know uh, difficult things lead to success and they can be beneficial for you. Generous leadership to me is taking what you can give to give back your skills and your talents in a way that helps others but also is fulfilling to you and being able to like have that accomplishment of like oh yes I did this project but I was able to give back um, to the community and that's really just rewarding.